And, and that leads me to my thought is that how many hands had a hand in my success? All the pairs of hands that touched mine to make it such a wonderful success. We talked about the doctors and the nurses, but there's the therapists, lab staff, radiology, the list is endless, and without them, I would not be standing here today. For without the donors and those wonderful families, such wonderful gifts would not be given. We need them because they are the true heroes of transplantation, both composite tissue and in solid organ donation. There are so many hands that touched mine to make mine the world's first successful hand transplant. And I'm forever grateful for each and every one of them. Yeah, probably one of the biggest things I would enjoy doing is, is that, you know, when I hug my sons, it's with two arms now and not a prosthesis. And when uh, my oldest son, Ian, uh, uh, got his red belt in Taekwondo karate, I was the one who was clapping and cheering the loudest that I wasn't able to do before. And when my youngest son, Jeremy, scored his first goal in soccer, you know, I, if I could have, I would have done a handspring. <laughs> with it. So, I mean, it, it's those types of things. It's, it's the daily life things that help me connect back to the world where, you know, two hands are required that are, are the greatest things that I can do.